Hi folks, I'm back again with our friend Terrapin, the turtle archaeologist. We have received our prize from Mind's End. It was a gold amulet of magic resistance. Um, so very happy with the magic resistance, less happy with the gold part, but so it goes. Um, oop, I have a box here now, so I don't have to just drop stuff. Um, let's see, what do we have? We have a whole lot of gold. We have some new ammo, including crossbow bolts of frost, which is very exciting. Um, and of course, some food and such. Uh, actually, I think what I'm going to do is go down to the altar, um, the level below, and just see what the BUC status of all this stuff is. Um, I'm 200 AUM overweight, so yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to be unburdened. I'll just got to be careful. I just have to be careful, I guess. Um, but yeah, feeling pretty good about the run so far. And so what I'm planning on doing is curse testing everything, and then we will forge ourselves some nice weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, a lichen that this far deep in the dungeon seems unlikely. Uh, yeah, there's no stash here anymore, just a unicorn. Um, and just, what? Do, okay, we still got that Null Hunter on the level. It, it does not seem interested in, like, following us, which I continue to find odd and frustrating. But it's not happening, so... Whatever. Um, now the question is, what materials do we have? I know we have enough materials to make some good forge stuff, but the question is, do we have enough stuff to make some okay forge stuff? <laughs> um, specifically, I want to make an athame, but I want to make sure um, I'm only using uh, non-magical materials to make it, because I don't need a the magical athame, and I don't want the forge to um, disappear just because I tried to forge an uh, magical equipment. Because whenever you you forge magical stuff, um, there's a chance that the forge vanishes. So don't want that. Um, so the question is, do I just use what I have? Or do I ID all the new ammo I've picked up at the general stores several levels above? Which would be a bit of a pain. No doubt about it. Um, I'm leaning towards just going for it with what we have, because we probably have enough stuff that I'm confident in um, knowing the properties of, I guess. But we'll see. Why do I have a pair of leather gloves? Where did those come from? Huh. Oh, and I forgot to remove my armor, my hat and amulet to see what the attitude those were. Doesn't super matter. I know they're not cursed, which is the main thing. But I guess it would be a little nice to know. Regardless, um, what do we have? So, we can take out the gold, all this stuff. Oh, Mithril Morningstar is cursed. That's a shame. Um, yeah, I mean, I can always uncurse it, so it's really fine. But <sighs> Okay, so I want to keep two crossbow bolts of fire to make something of fire. And I want to keep two crossbow bolts of frost to make something of frost. And yeah, then we'll figure out what exactly we're making. Actually, we've got like a bunch of blessed new things that we can maybe fold in our forged items. It's possible they're highly enchanted. Hmm. I think I might go up to the general store and see what's up there and, and see what I have currently by trying to sell it up there. Whatever, you know what I mean, price IDing. Uh, okay, we have plenty of tripe rations. Um, 
random tins of stuff from somewhere. Uh, the scare monster scroll, I think I'm actually going to bless it. I don't want to lose another one. And I can always pray for more holy water. Um, so there's that. I'm keeping a banana around to make a possible friend of an, uh, like a horse or a monkey or something. Seems unlikely I want to, but maybe. I'm not sure if bananas will tame owl bears. I don't think so. That would certainly be very useful if they do. Uh, yeah, anyway. Mm, tins. I'll leave in the chest for now. Oh, and I'm at full power again, so I should probably just fire off some spells, specifically Force Bolt. Put that power to use. Okay, um, oops. And what else do I want to take out? Doot, 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 um, okay, all right, and my wands are in my bag, I should take those out, I suppose, all right, Okay, reached down pretty low. Um, let's see what we need now. Um, basically, all this unidied stuff. We can we only need to take one of each though, and then we can bring it back here, which we're, we're going to do regardless. So, um, stout spear. I actually don't care about. It's iron, so even if it's highly enchanted, I probably don't want to use it. I might just carry this around so that on the off chance I do die, I'll at least have it identified, because I am super curious, and it is pretty light. Hopefully I will be able to identify it the old-fashioned way with a scroll, though. Oh, and I don't care about the Morning Star. Uh, magical properties don't have any effect on barding, so... All I care about is that it's Mithril and a Morning Star, and that's about it. I'm taking some 100 Zerkmid scrolls because probably one of them's teleport. You never know when that might come in handy. Um, and then stuff that I haven't price ID as well, of course. Alrighty. Oops. I think I'm just missing like a potion or two. Um, took out all the scrolls I wanted, so yeah, Christ Ruby Potion. And then maybe I can get some gold too. Um, sell it at the general store and buy protection. So, take some gems with us as well. Yeah, it seems good to me. Okay. Um, oop. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head back up to a general store, price ID this stuff, um, and get some more gold. We have two general stores to sell gems at in the main dungeon that we haven't hit yet. So yeah, we're gonna check those out. Dwarven soldier, orcish soldier, and gnomish soldier. Okay. Doesn't super matter. If it was a giant, I'd want to know. Anyway. Um, and we're already collecting new stuff to price AB. 
How exciting. Okay, ration, gotta love those. Oh, I haven't greased my hat. Um, that is a must do immediately. Okay, it is greased. Oh, and that's a nymph. Gnomish soldiers always seem particularly ill-equipped to me. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, it might be partially that they don't have like racial gear. I don't know. Oh, and this is one of the general stories, right? Let's see. Yes. Oh, there's three general stories in the main dungeon. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, if I recall, there's some zombies in here as well, so best watch out for those. Because of the zombie, I am going to just sell some gems real quick and not price ID here. I'll use one of the other stores for that. Okay, it's 2635. Um, one dime is 2000. What else do I have? Amber is 500. I never spell amethyst right the first time. 300. What the hell, that's close enough. Um, I will sell one diamond, one amethyst. Oh wait, which topaz? Let's check that real quick. 450, okay. So 2000 plus 450 plus Oh, we're done with this again. 300. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Um, I'll go with one amethyst, one diamond, and one topaz. 100, 2000, and losing about 120 gold on the deal, but I don't mind. Um, it's not too big of a ask, and then lock the door. Okay, one shop down, twenty six hundred gold richer. I'm fine. I'll leave the floating alive. life. I'm seriously considering just killing them all because it is a bit dangerous to leave them alive, but. I do like my pets as well. We'll see. Okay, which one of these is not the shopkeeper? The mountain dwarf, it seems. Interesting. Okay, this looks like a fine place to price ID, and I'll do that before selling gems, because when they offer credit, that always screws with the... Yeah, I'm not used to the prices for credit, and they always confuse me. Okay. And we're not going to sell any of these items because we want them to merge with the stacks we have back in the chests. Alrighty, um, we're back. Uh, none of the price I did stuff was exciting. That's that. And then I've sold an emerald for uh, 1,250 gold pieces. I'm leaving 40 gold with the shopkeeper. I doubt that'll matter. And this is the, uh, the level that enters into the mines anyway, so we'll have to pass through here on the way back down from the shop above. So if we feel like the 40 gold will matter then, will matter then, then we can always change things up. Alrighty.
Right, should I bring any of this stuff with me? I do want to make sure that I don't have mithril stuff I can use here. I'm going to bring these even though I can't use them on their own. Mithril daggers. Mm. I can always uncurse them. That might be a good play. We'll see. Uh, I don't really care about plus one stuff because I have a lot of plus two and three stuff. Maybe I'll take the plus two things just in case. And we'll take this steel thing too. Um, oh, I'm burdened, damn. Okay, what don't I really need? Huh? Hold this on a second. Oh, and silver darts, I definitely want those. Uh, oops, I keep on hitting keys by accident. Why is the uncursed mithril dart the second weapon in my inventory? Why is it seven units of mass? What? Is it, is it like a permanent inventory problem? No, it's not. That is bizarre. And if I drop, say, short sword, now I'm at my weight cap. If I drop a banana and pick up four arrows, I'm now a little bit over my weight cap. If I drop one dart, yeah, it really is honestly seven units of mass. If it if it was one unit like it should be, then I wouldn't have become un encumbered by dropping it. That's freaking weird. Um, huh. We got ourselves a small mimic that we dug around before. We can just bulldoze through now. Oh, oops, the steel spear was plus one, not plus two. That's embarrassing. Uh, I forgot about the multiplier for the material, I think, anyway. Another mimic. Let's lure him out of the shop as well, maybe. Or not. There we go. Didn't drop anything. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're just here to sell gems, so what have we got? Or what has the shopkeeper got? 3,100 gold. So what's the ruby worth again? 1750. Eh, I'm getting pretty lazy. I'll just sell two rubies. Good enough. I have no room for the money. Whoops. I'm still, I can't get over this mithril dart. What is up with that? I'm definitely bringing it with, with me. Wait a sec. That's some inventory weirdness. It might be that I was dropping, or I don't know if it had to do with the dart or not, but when I sold the stuff, it said I had no room for the money, but now I'm carrying the money in open inventory. And I'm only 52 slots. So maybe it's still like was counting the rubies as in my inventory since they hadn't been s quite sold yet or something. Or maybe it's something with the mysterious heavy dart. I don't know. I have my eye on you, Mithril Dart. 
Uh, okay, how much gold do we have? 12,500. Huh. So I'm decently close to... I'm like about 800 gold away from being able to buy three rounds of protection. But I don't know where I could pick up 800 gold. So I guess we're just buying two rounds. It really bugs me that we haven't found a unicorn yet, because it means you have to let zombies roam free everywhere instead of eating them. I only have the one eucalyptus leaf, so sickness is ever present danger. Not helped by the fact that I had a tainted corpse a while back. Still embarrassed about that. Um, anyway, ooh, a carnivorous ape. You don't see that every day. Back in the old town. How nostalgic. Down to the forbidden, forbidding feeling. Yeah, I, and I didn't think gold was a big deal. I thought you could have that fine with 52 slots. Okay, it must be some minor bug with selling things. I don't know. Um, anyway. Yeah, we don't have enough gold for a third round, so we just won't. I suppose I could buy some clairvoyance, but... Nah. What? Weird display thing there. Um, okay. So we have all we need. Forgot to drop stuff at the altar. That's fine. We're passing by several on our way back to Sokoban. Along with several zombies. Gah. Um, nope. Taking a long way around, that's for sure. all this stuff at, including my hat and amulet. Alrighty, um, cool. Um, luckily we have plenty of forges in the dungeon. Two here, one on level one, still the one in the Goblin King's and Goblin Town, one on level 12, one on level 11. That is a lot of forges. I have run out of forges before, which is no fun. Um, I would say it's reasonably uncommon, but you definitely don't want that to happen because like for forged artifacts are super powerful, and if you don't have a forge to make one that you want, that really sucks. Especially since I'm kind of depending on Gauntlets of Purity to make me a viable spellcaster. Um. Let's go sacrifice an Acid Blob for the heck of it. And we've got a fast two. What could this be? Acid Sphere. Let's see if I can take off my hat in time. I can. So, okay, acid's going to suck, um, but I can't wreck any of my gear because it's all road proof, corrode proof specifically. Um, however, Grease doesn't know that. It will try to protect armor, even if the armor will be fine, and it sometimes wears off. 
So I wanted to take off my hat so the grease wouldn't possibly wear off. Alrighty. How difficult is an asset blob? Difficulty two. Okay, so I'm probably not at max luck. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not at max luck. It's just that wasn't enough to give me luck. So it goes, ugh, more zombies. Will this never end? Hmm. Guess I should try sacrificing this too. Yep, that one gave me luck. There you go, folks. Yep. I'm a little less scared of them now because the grease does guarantee protection from one bite. And it's not like they're going to get two bites in a turn. Ha. Huh. They might, actually. Um, turtle problems. <sighs> However, I only have so much grease and I'd rather not waste it, of course. Another long worm. They're really living up to their name this game. Okay, we're finally ready to forge some things. Well, after we dump a bunch of stuff in our chest. We're almost ready to forge some things. Uh, huh, huh. Keeping the mysterious mithril dart on me too. I'm collecting all sorts of oddities this game. Huh, um, what else? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, oh, keeping the magical stuff. Um, oh, forgot to drop my bag on the altar, so I still have some unknown VUC things. Whatever. That's why I set up my stash pretty close to an altar. Oh, and I can put most of these gems back. Except for one amethyst. Um, oh, and I forgot to do my potions, too. Okay, that's a little more annoying. Oh, one thing I can do is drop more rings down sinks. Because I have a lot of duplicates now. Specifically, I have two gold rings, two steel rings. I think the others I still don't know about. Uh, yeah. I should try them on at least. Then, okay. Uh, what should I try on first? I guess this granite ring. Levitation, lovely. That's a great ring to have, obviously. Um, and also, obviously, not something for regular use, so I'm sticking it in my bag where it can be safe. <sighs> Why did I take out my long sword? Oh, wait, I was just taking out everything. Whoops. Hmm. This stuff away, we're not using it for anything. Okay, anything else we need to take out? Uh -uh. I don't think so. Um, okay, so what duplicate rings? Gold and steel. So they're destined for the sink. And actually, I'm going to bring one gold piece with me because. Leprechauns have an equal chance of stealing different gold things in your inventory, so it makes it that much better that my amulet will be stolen. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Anywho. We're going to forge us two different weapons. Um, actually, three when you count the athame, which is what, a dagger plus stiletto? 
believe so. But that can just be any old thing. Uh, what else do we... Okay, so here's the plan, our grand plan for forging. I'm going to make a silver trident of frost and a steel normal sphere of fire. Um, and then when I find some mithril stuff, I will decide to either make a mithril trident of fire or a mithril stout spear of fire. Still not totally sure which one I'll choose. Probably the trident. We'll see. Um, but for now, it'll just be a steel spear, and it can go either way. Um, so that's why I'm bringing... Oh, no, crossbow bolts won't help with a spear. I should bring the steel knife for that. Uh, and some normal arrows. Can't be bothered to count how many we'll need. I'll just take a bunch. Um, some normal crossbow bolts. Can just take a bunch. Um, and another normal knife, I guess. Uh, some silver darts or a silver dagger? That's the question. So for the silver trident of frost, I will need a spear and a scimitar. Huh. I think I'll go with silver darts so I can make a silver... No, I'll do the silver dagger. I can make a silver short sword. Add some random knife to it. It's fine. Um, I think that's enough, and I'll just bring along some random extra things. Random extra raw materials um, in case I need them. And of course, most importantly, forging hammer. Okay, hopefully we have enough, but the forge is nearby so we can always come back. Pretty low stakes. Um, okay. Forge is right over by the altar, so we can also confirm the BC of these other items, even though. Oh, they're both cursed. That, okay, good thing I checked, I guess. I will be wary. Um, I can still use them, I just can't use them as the second item, which should be fine. Uh, good thing I brought the steel darts, I guess. Okay, let's start with the Atlas. What do we need for that? Uh, okay, so I need a stiletto, and I'll s combine that with a dagger. Did I bring any boring daggers? Oh, I didn't bring any boring daggers. Oops. Yes, I can make one of those. Um, how should we do this? So I'd like this to be made of steel explicitly as well. Well, actually, no, I would not. I've changed my mind. I would not like it to be made of steel. I would like it to be made of non-steel materials because it's more fun that way. Specifically, I'll make... Okay, let's do this. Um, forge two crossbow bolts, boring normal ones, with an uncursed knife, stiletto, and then Forge this curse knife with two boring arrows to get a dagger and then forge them together in whatever order because they're both made of iron. And even Athame. Okay, so um, I believe I made use of this bug in um, my Hobbit game. Athames are made of steel, so because both of the weapons I used to make it were made of iron, it shows a random material. Happened to just be steel, so you got the boring result this time, which means we also don't have to feel particularly guilty about using a bug. But it's a small enough bug with little enough gameplay impact that I like to use it when I can, just for my own amusement. Alrighty, now down to the important things. We need a trident and a spear. Um, let's start with the spear, it's easier. Uh, we need a steel base, so we're going to need to use our steel darts because our knife is cursed. Um, so we'll start with making a 
dagger. So that's going to be um, boring arrows plus steel darts to make a steel knife plus more boring um, so then more boring arrows plus the knife gives us a steel dagger and then we add our crossbow bolts of fire is that right that's right so technically this means we're forging using magical ingredients a couple more times when we decide to upgrade the spear later but I think it's worth it, especially with all the forges we have. Other oh, crossbow bolts, though. Forgot about that. Okay, we're making a steel trident then, I guess. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Um, well, I still needed a dagger at some point. Uh, we're just going to make it into a short sword instead. Uh... Forge crossbow bolts with the steel dagger. Oh, and that destroyed this, uh, the forge. So we gotta go find another one. Let's go down to the next level. Oh, and here's the sink. So. I assume that's accuracy. And that's gain strength, maybe? Okay, I'll look those up real quick. All right, it was gain constitution, not strength, but otherwise I was correct. Um, so gold is increased accuracy. That's good, I don't care too much about increased accuracy, so I don't mind it being gold. Um, and... Steel is increased constitution, which means I should probably carry one around for when I level up. Regain constitution, I think, is the proper term, technically. Okay. Enough to find another forge. Alrighty. Um, so now we need to make a scimitar. So knife plus short sword. That's our scimitar. Okay, so now we need to make two spears and another scimitar. Yes. Okay. Um, let's start out with the two spears. I think we will indeed run out of stuff. Ugh. Okay, fine. Um, we have to go back and get some more arrows. And forging is a pain to keep track of. Oops, wrong upstairs too. <sighs> Eat probably enough. Take some more just in case. Um, or actually, do we just have some spears we can use? We do. You're just the one. Hmm. I'll leave it be. Uh, I can use a dagger though. Mm, but it's the only uncursed plus zero dagger I have. I'd rather keep that. So it can merge with others. Okay. Um, fine on dart. Yeah, I just need some more arrows. Yeah, that's good enough. Ah, my favorite sacrificial insect. Come to me. To the downstairs. Man, this is starting to get concerning. Every time I switch to a different window for whatever reason, sometimes my recording software thingy just randomly closes with no outward sign that it's going to do it. So I'm super worried that it'll, and it does save the video, but I'm super worried it'll close and I won't notice and keep playing. Oh well, um, just have to deal. Here we are again. 
we have more arrows now. So we need to make two plus three spears that we'll combine with our magical thingies. Is that right? Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Um, so forge arrows with daggers. Arrows with daggers. Okay. Um, now we make our other scimitar. No, we should make the trident first, just so we have at least one of them. So, spear. Okay, we're good. Um, forge. A uh, silver dagger with the frost bolts. So silver dagger second, so the thing remains silver. And then we need to make another knife. Um, forge that knife with Silver sword sword. Okay, now we're done. I mean, we've got one more to go, but it doesn't matter if the forge is destroyed after this. So spear with a silver scimitar. Silver trident of frost. And just in time, because the forge did indeed disappear. Okie doke. Um, I'm going to switch to our steel spear, steel trident for a while. Um, and get my skill up. So I believe I've mentioned before, um, turtles get like a bonus rank of skill in trident. Um, so I don't think archaeologists normally get trident, but because I'm a turtle, I get a skill rank. It might seem like just kind of silly flavor, but it I'd say it has pretty major gameplay uh, implications because um, tridents are very light, so I can two weapon with one, even a silver one, um, with just basic two weapon skill. Uh, and I don't incur any weight like that. So I'm very glad to be able to do that. Um, right, and I was trying to lure this tiny beetle over here. Oops. Oops, my bow whip is switched with my mattock, okay. Um, alrighty, and actually I'm just gonna dig a more direct pathway here. Might as well pick up some golds. Alrighty. Is it possible this weapon is too good? So I'm killing stuff before I can train up properly? Maybe. Anywho, um, what are we putting back in the bag? Gold, arrows, crossbow, vault starts. I'll put this back in the bag too. I can use my mithril stout spears if I need to fall back on a more reliable weapon than my trident. And after I have basic and trident, I'm not looking back at the spear. Um, at the, that particular spear, that is. Still, we use them for ranged attacks, probably. Anything I want to take out of my bag? Well, I want to check this out. At least. Plus one. Okay. So I will wear that when I gain a level, and it'll give me an extra point of HP for that level. Um, just gotta remember and keep track of my XP. <sighs> and then I should take out some food rations for the road. And at long last, we go to explore further into the dungeon. Yes, that is what we will do. Oh, 
Um, first, we will drop by here just to curse test all that stuff. Um, great. And what, what have we here? An ape. Multiple apes. They do usually come in little packs. I'm happy with luck. You never have enough of it. Okay, there's probably a pack of zombies again. Yuck. And I don't need to remember this level's ult anymore, because it is not. Maybe I should try Fort Lydia soon? I don't know. It always scares me. And I like to, to be overpowered if possible, because Ludios is all about the loot. And loot is about all about how fast you can kill things, not whether you can kill them. So even if I was victorious in the end, if the soldiers all used their stuff before, I could, um, you know, kill them, then what's the point? Jet. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm going to try some two-upping now. Um, and I'm going to wield a silver trident in my main hand because it is heavier than 20 units. I wield it in my offhand while I was unskilled in two-upping. Uh, it would incur a big hit penalty. Ooh, another duplicate ring. Um, I will need to remember to drop that in the sink as well. I'm really having a lot of fun with that. I do have a lot of identify scrolls. Maybe I should just use those. I don't know. The thing is, if it's a valuable ring, I will want to have duplicates of it. Because if I get the Gauntlets of Purity, then that will... Um, They won't, the, they're made of silver, and so they won't protect my rings anymore from destruction. So, like, I would very much like to have multiple free action rings later in the game. Or now. I'll take now. Mithril Katana, that's cool. You don't see one of those randomly generated every day. Or almost any day, honestly. Um... And man, we're tearing it up with this two opening business. No, oh, I'm out of skill slots. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll stick with the trident of fire and shield for now then. Why not? Um, one more reason to get to level 12. I've got dual opening is possible. I've got, uh, at last, a quantum mechanic corpse, right? Okay, now I have a way to regain speed if I lose it somehow. Um, more mithril long swords of some kind or another. Neat. Another hat. This is probably from the Elven King, so it's likely enchanted. I'm definitely taking it with me. That was close to rotten. Gotta be careful. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here goes a spell book. Um, I wanted to toss the zombie corpse into the closet. So it wouldn't be a problem. Luckily, I've got wizard lock. So I can still do it.
Wait, how did I throw spirit over here? Could it have been sent flying by the explosion? I don't know if that's a thing. I don't think it is. Whatever. Um, I don't really want to eat any of these corpses because I have no idea which ones are old. I will absolutely sit on the throne though, thank you very much. And we'll take out some unidied stuff um, in case we get that thing. No, oh, we did not. <laughs> Okay. On to the next adventure. Oh, almost forgot a spear. Now on to the next adventure. I'm getting a lot of dug levels. It's new. Wow, yet another forge. Just keep coming. Um, okay, well, that's probably it for the level. What is this? Fine, a silver rune dagger. Why not? You never know when silver will come in handy. Probably will not, but you never know. Yes, yeah, looks like a job for the spears. And one of them has just jetted off to who knows where. Wearing our gauntlets. We pick up the cockatrice corpse, stick it in our bag, and wait for it to rot. Classic move. Um, is there another throne room? There is. What do you know? And an altar. That is awesome. Oh, and I might as well drop stuff here too, right? Cool. Okay. Trapdoor is slightly less awesome, I will admit. I have no qualms about kicking down the door. Because I can always make a new one if necessary. Come at me, folks. Got an altar that's feeling lonely. first just to be safe from the yellow light because I still have no unicorn horn <laughs> and another oil lamp and it's gold so that's useless Ooh. Labor. Whatever. Um, I'll see if it's magical, but otherwise I probably won't use it. I don't think you can really forge anything with sabers either. Oh, we've got a vault on the level. Okay, let's just hurl this corpse in the Yeti's face. Unsurprisingly, it missed. And then step back so that the Eddie's on the altar. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to use the saber. I should do that. Oops. Gold. Probably close to being able to buy another round of protection, honestly. Oh, I should take out an Eddie thing. Close enough. Um, not having much luck with these thrones, are we? 
Well, we could be actively having bad luck, so. Win in my book. Oh, we've got ourselves a gray fungus. Normally that would be fine if I had a unicorn horn. I mean, it's still fine, easy to take down from range, but they have a passive sickness attack, so you don't want to hit them in my... Oops. Oop, another crystal chest. Really excited to find opening. It's a glittering spell book. I will be very mad. That's what burned up when I opened the booby trap door. Okay, definitely enough gold. Um, might as well go do that, since we're burdened anyway, I have to go back to our stash. Another spell book, neat. Level 2 spell. Those are all the best spells anyway. Oh, and giants. Giant score. This is quite damaging. Not a fan. Let's just hang out here. Settle everything down. Oops. <laughs> Stay away from that. Neato. And I'm just going to leave the cockatrice corpse where it is since I'm leaving the level. will have rotted by the time I'm back. Probs. Freaking zombies, man. Oh, and there's no forge to dump them in anymore. Okay, maybe that was a miscalculation using this forge. Hmm. I can still dump them in the closet. It only works on one, though. Because the next one that spawns will, like, have nowhere to spawn inside the closet, so get pushed outside of the closet again. Super annoying. I can just dump them in another room, I guess. What is this? Gas for the resistances? Oh, that explosion is pretty bad. I was going to consider hitting it with my saber to see what it was, but why risk taking 24 damage when you don't have to? And I can try it against like the elven mode or something. C D E F G H um. Well the katana was cursed, that's no fun. Um. Oh and I forgot to drop that agate ring in the sink. Or no, I might not do that, right, I forgot. I'm not going to do that. Okay, what did I do? Hit the wrong key, naturally. Mm. 
It's going to take out. Don't need that. Don't need that. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Still carrying a fair bit of stuff. Okay, let's take care of some of the monsters here. Yikes. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh my god, it's a great unicorn. Well, let's take cover from the elven wizard first. Pretty scary dude. Okay. Um, okay, this seems like a f reasonable foe. Okay. Doesn't seem to be magical. Or not an important kind of magical, anyway. Oh my god. Guys, we have a unicorn horn. Lovely. Today is a good day. Uh... I suppose I should kill the wizard too, so he won't keep harassing me from behind bar the bars. Case in point. Alrighty. Um, oh, and I need to test out this other hat. What's up with that? Oh, it's plus zero. Okay. Well, I'll keep it around in case this other hat gets destroyed, which is seeming decently likely. Um, put away a copper saber, it doesn't look like it's going to be useful. I will remind myself it's a gift in case that becomes relevant. Hey. Alright, spell books. Um, and I can read both of these just fine. Create monster is fine. I mean, it's a great spell, but only like super useful if you can regenerate power quickly, which I cannot. Here's hoping I get Dragon Bane and Graze One Deer soon, which I won't. Oh, um, and then gold, gold, gold. Let's take 4,800 gold with us in case I find like a Wraith or something and end up leveling up. Still. 6,000 experience away, so don't have to worry about killing monsters to level up, but... Oh, um... And I should take stuff that I want to price ID. Which I forgot to do last time. Yeah, alright. Yeah, two forges on a level. Doesn't get any better than that. And of course more zombies. Ooh, another run ID potion. That's neat. A greased crossbow. It's always funny when I see greased weapons. Never quite what they're hoping to hoping to do with those, hoping to achieve with those. Thought it was a zombie, but apparently not. This is probably a zombie. Yep. <gasps> I can eat it now. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy. 
What a relief indeed. That zombie is finally gone. I don't have I can finally fast travel through this level. Very exciting. Oop. Gas border. Nothing around. Cool. That one I wanted to come up close just so I'd be certain of when it was happening. <sighs> Didn't want to anger anything. Twenty-one. Am I up to nine points of protection? I'm at like eight or nine. <laughs> I don't think I'll come back here until I have dream life, unless I, it's a really long time and I still haven't had it. We'll see. Um, speaking of spells, it's our daily reminder to cast a bunch of spells at a wall. I really need to be better about doing this, but oh well. Still relying on my shield of reflection anyway, so. I cannot wait for level 12 and I can do a wield. I mean, I won't have reflection then, but... Eh. I haven't seen any black dragons yet. And I'm missing a spear again. It's probably under the floating eye. No. Yes, it was past the floating eye anyway. All right. Um. Really need to keep better track of those. Thinking about killing it, but then I decided not to. And then, mm -hmm. Here we are. Spears to kill two zombies. It's a fair bit. <sighs> um, okay. Back in Sokoban. What do we need to drop off this time? A little bit of gold, a little bit of crossbow bolts. Neat. <clears throat> Still forgot to price ID. Uh, we don't need two agate rings. Okay. Put in that. That. Um, that. 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 I do wish we were lighter. Some of these tins. We are going to eat the giant tins. That's something. We should get on with that, actually. Um, Alrighty, 1876. We're getting there. And onward we explore. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, my only goal right now is level up pretty much. 
Nothing else long term at the moment. Probably could advance it if I had a slot. Yeah, I could. So now he's practicing that more. Let's do Huey instead. Alrighty. Need a corpse to offset the hunger. find it, dig for it, so I don't need to annotate it really. Alrighty. It seems like it's probably in like the bottom right, but yeah, okay, I don't think it's here. Okay, well, in this boring time, I guess let's talk about the upcoming version. I'm real excited about that. Uh, yeah, I'm recording this on April 30th, so it's due to be out a couple days tops. Um, a lot of bug fixes. I very much admire that because it's so fun to add new content, but fixing bugs is important too. Um, but of course there is new stuff as well. So I, the main things I think are the drow race, uh, new forged artifacts, what else? I feel like those are the main things. There's always a couple of mechanic changes of course, but I don't think there's anything huge. Um, yeah, so drow are like evil elves. Damn, that was an asset block, uh, sphere. Uh, and they're like a, a thing in D&D, but I'm not super familiar with them. Um, But I think their deal is they like live underground and they're super Machiavellian. Um, and they have an affinity for darkness, which is cool. Um, for the most part, I feel like light isn't super used in that hack. Like you've got lamps and stuff, which is great, but at the end of the day, Basically, you want light. Basically, end of story. Um, and so I think it's cool that there's some like darkness mechanics now where A, there's some advantages for any character to be in darkness, but for Drow especially, you would very much prefer to be in the shadows. Um, so like thieves now get a bonus to their thievery when they're in the dark. Um, and oh, that was a Tengu, wasn't it? It's a peaceful Tengu. I'll leave it be for now, but I'm definitely coming back to kill it. Um, and I think that's kind of it for most characters. But for a Drow, they're like they can't heal very well when they're in the light. Another smoky potion, nice. Um, or regenerate power. And their armor has a chance of shattering like glass, which I think is a really good idea. So d Knight pack is another... Oh shit. Whoa, did you see how far that nightmare moved? Because <laughs> it's much faster than me. Probably got three or four moves on me. Yikes. 
Um, nonetheless, it's only a level, a, a warning of three. So, I, oh, yeah, and the knight's already turning to flee. So we're good. Okay, um, where was I? Right. No, I don't remember where I was. Uh, saddle and barding, good to know. Right, oh, if, speaking of sex, I have total sleep resistance now. Anyway, um, so yeah, DNet hack as drow, probably other variants do. I'd be shocked if like Slash and Extended didn't have something, anything. Um, but uh, so f the only one I'm f familiar with at all, ooh, the quest levels around here. The only one I'm familiar with at all is um, is the DNet hack version. And so basically DNet hack drow can see in the dark. They can't see it in the light really. Um, 15% resistance, I didn't know it was so high. Nice. Um, and they have special armor in DNet hack too, made of some special drow material, uh, but it whenever you're in the light for more than a few turns, it erodes, um, which is just crazy, because you spend like three turns in the light and you're, or okay, more like a dozen turns in the light and your armor's just gone. Um, and you can cast like an R of darkness, like basically like the opposite of a light spell. Um, using some power. So it's not like the bright parts of the dungeon are totally blocked off to you or anything, but it's still annoying. Um, and it just seems really harsh. But yeah, an evil hack instead, um, it just is, becomes fragile like glass when you're in the light, which means you don't have to worry about like just waiting around in the light, because that would be silly. Um, ooh, amulet, nice. But you do have to worry about fighting enemies in the light. I think it's a good compromise. Um, anyway, the other new material it's like a bit better than mithril, but has this shatter prop property that's annoying, um, and it's heavier but not too heavy. Um, there's also a new like spider silk material, which is super light. It's basically its thing. Um, uncursed um, amulet, let's see what that is. No idea. Oh, we've got plenty of uh, wands of magic missile to put it to the test that way. Oh, one less mat one than I thought. Seriously? Okay, I guess we're not testing it that way. Put a pin in that. Um, even if it is reflection, I mean, I'm not giving up magic resistance. Uh, if it was life saving, I mean, maybe I'd. Consider something. I don't know. Wait a sec. Never mind. Okay, anyway, um hmm. I guess I can sacrifice a couple things down here. What else is there to do, you know? At least make sure that I'm... Okay, I'm good with my god again. 
prayer time has ended. I don't want to sacrifice too much as per early, just earlier discussions about low chances of getting an artifact at my level. Um, yeah. Alright, we've got ourselves some elves. A lot of elves. Minus. Oh, one of them was a house cat, not an elf. Okay. Ooh, Mithril Rune Arrows. Probably some elven boots, not that I can wear them. Maybe they can make good poly fodder. Probably not. Oh, we finally know what this teleport scroll is. Yay. Oh, didn't teleport far, I guess. Is the cat not the elf? Where'd the elf go? But, oh, it must have fled. Took me a second to find the past participle there. Or imperfect. Anywho, fled upstairs. Um, we don't have an imperfect, do we? Okay, I think with this trip down, I'm going to end the video here. We have found the quest level, and with my silver trident, like, that'll do a heck of a lot of damage against what's-his-name. So I feel... Plus I have a magic missile, which can do some damage as well. I feel good about taking him on, that is my point. Hmm. Anyway... Okay, I'm all up to date with healing spells, so might as well try and identify, I guess. Alrighty, teleportation wand. Oh, pretty highly charged, that's nice. Cool. Um, Alright, oh, I forgot. Damn it. I forgot to dump stuff on the altar. Oh, but most of my stuff has been dumped on the altar, the other altar, so we're good. I can do this stuff later. Okay, I will see you all next time, where we will start with the riveting putting loot into the chest. Bye for now, folks.